Hey there, I just want to reiterate my mission statement for my um, my YouTube channel and that is basically my goal is to get you out there working. Get you making some money, getting gigs, things like that, maybe even supporting your family on income earned playing the guitar. And uh, today we're going to talk about uh, not playing the guitar. We're going to talk about uh, something that a lot of us don't like to do, but um, if we can do it, we can make ourselves much more marketable, much uh, uh, much more likely to get a gig, and audition able to audition for gigs that maybe uh, we would have to rule out otherwise. And that is singing. Now, I've been known to say that I'm not a singer, I'm a guitar player. Part of the problem with doing that is psychologically you start to believe it. You know, if you can carry a tune, you can sing especially if it comes to backgrounds. You don't need to be the lead singer, but sometimes you're going to get a call for a gig that requires you to be able to at least sing some harmonies and some backgrounds. And if you're not a great singer, uh, singing lead may not be that big of a problem because it's the melody and you can find that easy enough. But singing harmonies, on the other hand, can be very difficult if you can't find them. Okay, so in in an effort to kind of get you started on harmonies, basic harmonies, uh, and I, I want, I'm going to teach you something that I kind of created for myself to kind of come up with harmonies when my wife and I had a band. Uh, we had a couple different bands and I would, she was the lead singer and I would sing harmonies to her and I was always at a loss of what, what should I sing? I mean, I didn't really, I couldn't sing above her. Um, I could sing below her and I'd be, if I harmonized with every single note, it sounded a little cheesy. So I started doing this thing I call sing a string. And whatever the chord progression was, um, I would sing whatever note was on that string. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna I'll just take a progression, a very common rock and roll, old school kind of progression, and like what I like about you or uh, Cherry Baby with uh, Neil Diamond. Um, bunch of songs um, use that chord progression. Uh, R O C K in the U S A by John Mellencamp. Uh, what I want you to do is I want you to look at these three chords, basic chords. I want you to play them exactly like you would day one in, in guitar class. That would be E, and it's going to be 0, 2, 2, 1, 0, 0, and then A, which nothing, don't play the bottom string. The fifth string is open, then 2, 2, 2, open. And then the D chord, the standard D chord, which is open D string, 2nd fret, 3rd fret, 2nd fret. Okay, so we have E, A, and D. Okay, so what I mean by sing a string, pick one of those strings, particularly in your singing range, uh, for example, the D string, what note is on that with the E chord? It's an E note. La, 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 la. Okay, and on the A chord, it's the same note, so you don't have to change notes. La, la, la. On D, la, 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 it goes down there. La, la, la. So it'd be like... Here's a simple harmony that would work over what I like about you, for example. And it's easy because it, it's easy to find because it's right there in your hands. So you just start singing, you find that first note. If the note goes down, you, you sing down to the next note in the scale. If the note goes up, you sing up in the next note of the scale. Well, let's look at the next, let's go to the next string. The, the G string, we're playing the G sharp on that, on the third string, uh, over the A chord, or I'm sorry, over the E chord. Okay, E, and into the A, we're singing an A, and over the D, we have an A, and back to the A, we have an A again. So now it's... What I like, what I like. I'm just singing two notes. Okay, let's go to the next string. And the, I hope this is making sense to you. It's actually really cool, and it works with any chord progression, especially the, the easier the better. If you keep it in first position, obviously, um, you're going to be able to find those notes a little faster. But let's look at the next string. The B string is going to get a little higher, and maybe a little out of our range. You could sing it down an octave. Now let's try it up an octave. So it's a B over the E chord. The next note is second fret on the second string. C sharp over the A chord. Then go up to the third fret of the second string, get a D note over the D chord, and back to C sharp. So it'd be like this. What I like about you. So you know that. 
that you can already hear that that's going to work. What I like the melody. Makes you a little bit more hireable. It makes you a little bit more, especially if you're just doing three chords in a rock song. Gives you something else to do. Keeps you from getting bored at the gig. Um, you could go up to the E string. That's gonna be a little higher. Now, what we'll do is we'll take it down an octave. The E string, the top string, will be an E and stays an E over the A chord, right? And when you go to the D chord, you're pushing down the second fret, so it goes to F sharp. That's pretty high. So if I go down an octave, down, down there, what I like about you, what I like about you, E, 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 F sharp, E, E, F sharp, I could go down to the A string maybe, and maybe that would be pretty low, what I like about you, what I like about you, or I could sing that up an octave, what, 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 what I using the chords to create a harmony. Now the harmony is going to be pretty darn static. Uh, like for example, the over the E chord, it was over the, on the E note, on the fourth string, it was E, 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 D. It's pretty much one note and then drop down to one note, a second note, just the one time. Um, a real simple harmony like that can create, um, can create interesting harmonies. You know, if you were doing a part that's pretty static, and the other one's moving around, it creates really, really kind of a cool harmony rather than everything moving in parallel motion. Um, so try this with some other songs. Just, just experiment. Just kind of come up with your own harmonies and uh, see if it works. And for you, and it might give you another tool to have to go get that gig. Okay? God bless you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.